All right, hi and welcome to the video. And in this video, we are going to talk about unit testing. This is part two of the video. In the first video, I taught you about the unit testing. Now we are going to write some complicated test functions uh, to test classes and methods and attributes. So let's get started straight into action. And so the first thing that I need to do is create a new Python file. So I'm going to say student. Oops, sorry for that. Student, right? Uh, so so here you can see I'm just creating a basically a simple function uh, known as student. And what I'm going to do is basically just write student, right? I'm just going to inherit it from object, object, right? Uh, I'm going to write a simple uh, constructor uh, for the name, my bad, name, age, and um, language, right? So writing a simple constructor right now, self dot name, name, self dot age. You know what? I actually, just say last name. So I can actually, and I'm gonna say first. So first. Just gonna make sure make sure the spaces are correct. Ah, uh, that's capital. That's why. All right. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say last, last, self. All right. So that's the simple constructor that I can make. A very simple stuff. Now let us try to write a simple uh, some methods and attributes inside this. Um, so what we're we gonna do is basically let me write a simple function full name. All right, so I'm gonna write full name. Uh, return. Format. First. Last. Right. So we have a attribute. So this is a method right now. So if you wanna call this, uh, just to show you. So what are you gonna say? You're gonna create a object, then you will say whatever the name of the attribute and the round brackets. But I don't wanna do that. I wanna convert this into an attribute. So I'm gonna say property. So I can directly access this now uh, like this way. So I can access this as an attribute instead of a method, right? So hope this is fine, clear and moving forward. All right, so we have a full name and uh, yep, that's it. Let's just uh, keep it very simple for the first example. I don't wanna make it pretty complicated. Um, so yep, that's our simple student class. Now let us write a test function for this. So let us see, new file, I'm gonna say Python and the name should be test underscore student. All right, so then I'm gonna say import and make it big, unit, oops. Import unit test. Uh, I'm gonna say we need unit test, and then I need to say uh, from students import student. Oops, students. Right now, I'm gonna write a class known as um, you know student test student. Inherit from unit test dot test function. We did this in the last the last lecture, so don't I don't need to repeat that. So test. All right, so once that is done, so we need to essentially test uh, the functions right there. So I'm gonna write, I wanna check the full name of a student. So what the, how do I check that? So first of all, I need to create an object, right? So the way I do that, let me pull up my notes real quick. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna write a function here. So I will say define, uh, I'm gonna say test underscore full name. So, and this function, I need to write some uh, methods inside this. I mean, so first of all, let me just write a print statement. So we know that this function was called. So we can say test underscore full name as usual. Now, um, I need to create an object of that class. So I can say std1, so student1 essentially. So I'm gonna say student, right? And it, remember it had the first name. Uh, so I'm gonna say Sawmill. 
um, had a last name if you remember and it's gonna be Shah and we also gave a language if you remember uh, so essentially language of course Python that's what I love so uh, so once that is done uh, zooming out a little bit so you can see I, we, I have created an object now uh, I, when I call them an attribute of that uh, I can call the attribute like std1 let me just show you dot and remember we had a full name right so here you see you can it's showing showing it up but I need to test that so how do I do that now um, I can say self dot assert assert oops ass let me zoom a little bit so it's visible so I'm gonna say self dot assert equal right so I'm gonna check now what do I need to check so I'm gonna say self dot std oops std1 that is student1 I'm gonna check its full name remember essentially that object uh, has a, a full name so we're gonna say self dot std1 dot or was it just yeah we can do this way so so uh, std one dot full name so which is gonna basically and now we need we need to check against um, so if I say sawmill and if I say sha so remember the full name was sawmill hyphen sha right this is us this is what we are expecting from that so the we can say okay so that is done if underscore underscore name underscore underscore uh, essentially running the function the test function right hopefully if I did not made any type typing errors okay what's so a, a little bit space right there so that's good oops sorry for that so unit test unit test dot main that's weird I mean usually it comes like all right that's fine so that's all uh, that's our test function so we wrote a simple class let me just show you what we did so I have a student class it has first name last name language right and I have an and I have an attribute not a method why because if it was a method I will say I will create an object and I will say student dot um, you know full I'll say this way but I'm not saying this way this is a method now an attribute this is an attribute remember this very important so once that is done now we just want to test the function which function we want to testing full name so I'm gonna create an object there so I'm gonna create an object std1 student right I'm gonna I've created an object and I say equal to whenever this method is called I'm expecting the full name to be this so if I run this hopefully <laughs> no errors that's fine so here you can see ran one test and it says okay test full name so here you can see it also printed up because we were running this function right there right so we can say just to show you now I'm gonna show you an efficient coding a little bit all right so it's just for your just show you so here you see function test mask of full name or was ran now uh, let me just add one more attribute here but I want to show you something quick uh, so define email uh, of course I want this as an attribute so I'm gonna say property decorator so I'm gonna decorate it so I'm gonna return remember I'm gonna return the email right so uh, I'm gonna say dot uh, this way oops dot this way at company.com right want to show you something cool uh, self oops self dot uh, first name and of course the last name so we have an email now we again have an attribute known as email right now if I want to test that email function guys how do I do that uh, you'll say hey Samuel I know that it's easy you just taught us so I'm just gonna copy this function right there and paste it right here now uh, okay that's that's fine I want to show you something so if I say full name we have enough test underscore email now I'm gonna say oops, 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 oops. so essentially email was ran right now again I'm creating an object and instead of this I'm gonna say email right because that's what it had right if I'm right so uh, we have an attribute known as email remember here so I just want to check if when I call this attribute 
so what was the email id you said so first name dot the last name at company dot com right so if i run this now i should get two test so run two test right we're getting two test and both of them was successful here you can see now here is the thing guys if you are a good coder efficient coder you know see we are repeating this we are creating object here also we are creating object here also why do we need to do that no that's not needed right so so what do, what we can do in order to um avoid this uh, i can create a setup function and a teardown function so essentially talking about that so if i say dot setup so you can see uh, u is capital is a case sensitive uh, so make sure when you are writing that function so to take care of that as well so uh, here i can like create my employee right uh, or my object or whatever you want so essentially i just going to copy a piece of code uh, so um just going to remove this to explain you what's going on right and i'm going to write a print print function so you can see that this function was run sip <laughs> all uh, right so function setup was run all right did i yep that's fine now we also need to uh, write a teardown function so now i'm going to show you an efficient again one more thing that i want to teach you here all right so all right so that's done right now again if i run this let's see what happens all right so we have a error test method self dot assert equal full name song oh, oh, oh sorry 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 yeah um oh yeah std so yeah so i forgot the self here so if i fix this and self so whenever you're writing a teardown function uh, so you have to specify the self function so i just forgot that so now if i run it okay what's the issue? so we have a small issue right here ran to test uh, assertion field test function object has no attribute std1 oh okay 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 i think i i ha i had to um oh yeah i have to write self here as well sorry there was a mistake so now i think it should be fine and um, if i run it again so here you can see ran two functions um, and so first you see setup was run then it uh, we were testing the email function so email was called then the teardown function was run then again the setup the test function and the teardown so what it's doing guys is calling the setup teardown sorry setup function teardown setup function teardown setup function teardown this is how it's executing right now you observe like setup tear setup function teardown setup and teardown is calling it multiple times so if you have like 100 of methods it's going to call 100 times it's, that's not what you want right so in case of a database are you going to like make and break make and break make and break connection no right so uh the way to solve this issue um is using a um a class method right you can order to avoid that we can use uh, something known as class methods so we have a function known as setup class so if you right so it's going to say print all right and similarly we have a teardown class as well class method define teardown class uh, why it's all right so i can say print all right so now if i run this function hopefully this will um let's see so now if i'm running this function here you can see uh ran to test and it was successful we are getting okay but uh, now let's see so setup class function was ran so we called essentially the this function first and then we ran the test email we ran the email function then we ran the then we we again called the teardown function so here you can see teardown function so here you see the the function class uh setup class was only ran once so at the beginning of the st stuff it was running first then here you can see let's like ex um then here again you can see setup function was run 
test function was called and tear down and tear down class so if you observe this carefully at the start so if you see this carefully so the setup class function will run at the beginning of the program and the tear down class will run at the end of the program so you can uh, if you're writing a database code you can write your connections here and break down like stopping your connection at the tear down class instead of creating of uh, attributes known as setup and tear down you can create a class methods and do that inside this this one so it will be like more efficient so let's stop the video right here and in the part three we might be writing even more complicated test functions so i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if so do give a like have questions can post them in the comment section thank you for love support and see you guys in the part three